Hmm, I'm very excited right now for God of War Ragnarok. I can't believe that it's coming out very darn soon. It should be dropping this year in November. I wonder what's going on with Sony and when they'll release a trailer for it. Let's see what's going on, on the internet today. God of War Ragnarok developers are being harassed by fans sending in explicit photos. The God of War Ragnarok cinematics producer Estelle Tagani revealed in a tweet. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still recovering from my darn cold. That she has been sent explicit photos with demands of a release date for the sequel. What in the actual fucking hell PlayStation fanboys? Why? What in the absolute hell? I have to reinstate that. Why would you ever do a single thing like this? Because you wanted a release date for this game. Now, if you guys don't already know, God of War Ragnarok has gotten a trailer already a few days ago. And this incident right here that happened where the where one of the producers and devs was sent explicit photos by fans, this happened two weeks ago on June 29th. But still... And the fact that people went out of their way to even defend actions like this saying, well, you guys should have given us a release date and stuff like that is just beyond me. Like, why? Game fanboys, like the console fanboys and stuff, the whole console war situation is just some of the dumbest things I've ever seen in the entire internet on the gaming side of stuff. I don't know why people shill so much for a piece of plastic that you put a disc in or you... Mm, excuse me download stuff with and then you start playing a game for you to sit here and worship a piece of plastic like a console or PC so darn much just absolutely makes no sense to me and of course the PlayStation fanboys are easily the worst ones when it comes to defending their darn consoles after that the Nintendo fanboys like Harmon Smith now it still baffles me how someone like the amazing Lucas, one of the biggest PlayStation fanboys, and he has his own YouTube channel on his platform, went out of his way to defend this stuff on Twitter by saying, it's simple, just give us a release date and we won't do stuff like this. As you can see from this tweet right here, this is absolutely beyond me that gaming has even come to something like this where fanboys will sit here and do dumb actions like this and expect it to go well. Like, why? I just do not understand this. And then they go on to say, oh, it's because we're passionate about the IP or the developers or the team at Sony and stuff like that. And then they'll also go out of their way to just defend products that are just completely freaking mediocre too whenever Sony drops them. They'll go out of their way to defend the fact that Sony be censoring some of their games like with the whole DMC5 debacle. It's just beyond me. Now... I do not want to keep this video going on for that long. I know I didn't do the intro or anything, but this news right here just completely baffled me. This is something that I also saw while I was off on my break for a little bit, and I decided to cover it now. It's it's just it's just sad that this is what the state of gaming is coming to, and these PlayStation fanboys are taking stances like this. Sending explicit photos. If you guys don't know what the explicit photos is, I'll say it right here. They were sending dick pics. To the darn producers up at Sony and so Santa Monica Studios. Now, with that being said, I don't want to keep this video going on for that long. I've already covered the pretty much the entire situation and stuff. This is me, Mitsuni Nika. I hope you all have a blessed day. I'm out.